Hello, my ladies and pretty gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Look What's Happening in the Spirit Realm with yours truly, Light. Oh my goodness, today, 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 I have an intense message of absolute shock and awe, not to be dramatic as usual, but it has left me face down for a few days where I had to quite literally scrape myself off of the fucking floor to even be able to digest this information into a fucking blog. Yes, I will be cursing intensely today. As you can see by the title, it is not a little ooh, happy dandy little sprinkle sprinkle. Oh, somebody's obsessed with you and that must be nice. It has nothing to do with that today. It is a lot to do with you, my lover, my dear chosen one. Every time you leave a situation, you enter a new life, a new paradigm, you, you're your most authentic self. You bring your light, your love forward. You expect people to meet you with the same grace that you meet them, yada, yada. But you're always left wondering, what the absolute fucking hell did I do to deserve such treatment? Why do people treat me like I'm hiding something, keeping something, doing something that I am not? If this is you, right, if this is you, let me fix the lighting real quick. Oh my, yeah, if this is you, this message is for you. You have people attached to your energy. And you know, Spirit always said, your true enemy resides in your household. Because as a chosen one, an enlightened one, a prophet, whatever you want to call yourself, truly a touched one, anointed one, the people that truly most care about you are those in your family. And these aren't every, everyone. But the question that we seldom ask is, who sent you? Who are you? Who am I? And even if we ask these questions, do we actually take it seriously? Because the thing that has come into my peripheral, and thus leaving me face down for days, to digest this indigestible truth is the fact that some people are actually sent to you. And it is not the fact that they're sent to you that shocked me beyond anything. It's the fact that of how they're sent to you. How they're sent to you. That's... That's the part that I need to really drill into this channel because I've been, I've been shocked more than usual, more than usual. So I need you to understand the importance here of coming into contact with people and why some spiritualists tell you be careful who you come in contact with who you share items with all of these things which i used to think were a bit too dramatic are actually not so dramatic because these people are talking about a phenomena they know called remote viewing and not everybody who has these powers these gifts to remote view does it for the purposes of I don't know, like, oh, does he love me? Does he love me not? Does he love me? Does he love me not? No, no. Some of them use it to basically create what I call a shadow attachment. It's all in my blog, which by the way, a deeper digest of this is going to be up right now in the comment sections. It's pinned. So with that being said, they, they come to you these people are just random people that you come across. The funniest thing is you don't even expect these people because you don't know them. Not all of them are those who are close to you, meaning they're your friends or your family. No, these quote-unquote witches or these enemies of yours, whatever you want to call them, that are doing this remote viewing are using people that may have either emotions towards you or you have emotions towards them. There is a link here, an interconnected link. But the most important thing here is the fact that this karmic or these people that they are able to remote view are mostly ingrained in the matrix because otherwise they're not low vibrational enough in order to be, I want to say mentally manipulated because what these remote viewers do is implant ideas. They basically turn these people into dummies by entering into their dream state. This is going to be such an off-grid conversation just in case just in case 
they don't send us to the hospital anymore so that's probably a good thing anyway they come into these people's dreams and they basically insinuate they magnify the desires that they have for you they create illusions in their mind about you that you secretly want them or you secretly hate them or they are your mortal enemy whatever serves these witches purposes best they will put these ideas they will implant these uh, suggestions into these people's dream state when they are least resistant what happens to these people? And this is exactly why some of you have random stalkers, random people who just fucking hate you. And you just came into the location. You're just like, what the fuck did I do? It's because, it's because, my dear, you're light. You're light. It has nothing to do with what you did or did not do. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. This is why everywhere you go, you seem to be met with a reflection that doesn't really resonate with how you are approaching people. It's because it has a lot to do with the fact that these people are being influenced without their knowledge. Now, these, the weaker links, right? Those who are bound to the matrix, those who can be easily mentally influenced in the dream state by these remote viewers are the ones who are used to create these quote unquote rumors or they have these obsessive desires over you. So they go above and beyond to cut connections for you that you would otherwise truly enjoy having. <sighs> these people are used as pawns in a greater game this is why we need to start asking the question seriously for the first fucking time saying who fucking sent you who sent you because this is not a joke anymore this is not a joke anymore some of you are going to be aware of who the actual fuck you are whether you are even in this in the family that you were actually born into we're not gonna get into that that's a different topic for another day but today, let's get back to the central point here. So if you are one of those people that I just mentioned here, that you are just always wondering, what the fuck did I do? Why do people treat me with disdain? Well, my love, it's because you have remote viewers. You have literal covens after you. Not all of you, but those who resonate with this message who have been inked with the pain of wondering, why the fuck do People treat me this way. This is why. It's because they were sent. And some of them do not know what has dominion over their mind. Why they are so repelled by you. Or why they're so drawn to you. It doesn't matter. It's not about the obsession or the lack thereof or the hate. The hateful obsession or the loving obsession. It's about the focus. You are being attacked in a way that I'm not even here to say, oh, you should fear, you should be a scared, squared about it now. I'm here to tell you that you are literally the very fucking reason why these people who think they're all powerful will beginning to realize they have no control over anybody's destiny. Not even of their own. Not even of their own. Because they are assisting you this is why they're so fucking pissed at you. It's because everything that they seem to be sending, you seem to understand the higher levels of love. This is exactly why they want to create an isolated incident for you where you are, wherever you go, you can't quite create connections due to these influences that these people are having in their dream state by these witches and warlocks or whatever you want to call them. So you begin to blame yourself. This is the mission. You vibrate too high for them to reach you in any sense. So they have to bring you down. They have to bring you to the base level of your existence where you are crawling and clawing and begging for a drop of love. And this is where the karmics that they have prepped for you come into play. It is anything but your destiny. And that is why, that is why it's important. And I am not even sorry for delivering this message with such intensity. And if you do not receive it, it was not meant for you. Because guess what? There is no other way I could have delivered this message. <laughs> because you don't know what I've been going through for the past few days. You are, this is the mission. 
this is why the places that you go people don't treat you right it's because it's supposed to meant it's meant to lower your vibration it's meant to make you think that you are the problem that way you can be brought to a level where these karmic connections these people who are deeply ingrained in the matrix who are easily malleable for these remote viewing witches can come into your life basically like a saving grace like i know you're hurting and i'm here for you and guess what happens once you are with these people everything about you that makes you you your destiny is all gone it's it's in the fucking blender <laughs> that's exactly the purpose you see these people don't they don't want you dead these witches they can't have you dead i will make another video about the fact that your destiny was sold but they don't want you dead. they cannot have you dead because it doesn't work that way you have to still be alive but you cannot be alive living in your destiny for some reason some of these people have banked their profit their wealth on you while others of them it is just a mere obsession a lie that you aren't really even a part of the family that perhaps maybe just maybe you are your father's or your mother's love child or just maybe you were given to by a covenant or just maybe you don't really know who you are and that's where the problem resides that is the crack into which these people can insert themselves so the question here that is so important is who sent you and why the absolute fuck should I question my intuition for you? They will never, when you've been gaslit for such a long time, nobody will ever confirm to you what you know. You have to just know it and move by it. Because this is where everything falls apart for them. They bank on the fact that you are isolated because they have prepared the path to be like that. This is why you could move anywhere you fucking want. But the moment that you make interactions with people, these people are either loving you or hating you. It has nothing to do with you in particular. It has everything to do with the influences around them. Meaning, they're not even of their own. And I'm starting to say, you don't even know who sent you. You don't even know why you're doing this to me. Because they really don't. They don't. They don't know why they're drawn to you or repelled by you in such an extreme way. It's because they were sent. And the number one mission these people have, and this is why a lot of spiritualists tell you, stay positive. I used to be very, very irked by that statement. Stay positive. Stay positive. Like, what the? You can't feel negative emotions? No. It's not about that. It's not about that. You can feel negative emotions. When they say stay, stay positive, it means do not make dis do not come from a place of making your life decisions based on you feeling like your chosen path, your calling, your purpose is too great for you or it has failed you. This is why these people try so hard to make you you succumb. There is something that they have for themselves that they only they can only have if you don't live in your chosen path and for some of you it's because your family does they do want you they have chosen you in particular to take on the torch of the gifted witches or warlocks whatever the case might be you are not delusional and I'm going to keep this video short. I know that you guys don't mind if I go on and on and on and on and on. But I feel like I've mentioned everything that I need to mention. I will say this. Today's word, February's word is justice. It's justice.